What's going on guys? So, this is probably gonna be one of my biggest videos I've done to date. I put a lot of time, money, and effort into this, and the payoff is so worth it. If you wanna see me go from this to what I have behind me now, stick around. But first, I wanna give a huge, 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 huge shout out and thank you to my community and my sponsors for making this possible. We had a really good month with Steel Series and G Fuel, and thanks to you guys, you made this possible. So as always, thank you guys so much. My community is amazing, amazing, and blows me away every single day. Before we go any further as well, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and hit that sub button. It means a lot. I'm trying to do a lot more YouTube content aside from just Twitch. And I'm really enjoying the YouTube scene, honestly. It's a really great community over here. So if you're not subbed, hit that subscribe button, please go ahead, do that right now. We have a lot more content coming in the future, especially with this. But let's get right into it. Let's uh, check this out. So this is the amount of space that I had to work with with the office setup. I started off with an Ikea Alex drawer. It costed me about $80. I got two of these just because I've always wanted a double Alex drawer setup. It has these really nice smooth drawers. Here's the back of the Alex drawer where I was going to be putting a hook for my cables. And here's the command strip that I was going to use for the cables for the back. So I started installing it. Command is just a beautiful brand. Getting that situated on the back there. These things do not come off, I swear to God. All installed, not even the hull can take it off. Bringing in that second Alex drawer here. I just ran over my foot, I'm not gonna lie. And on the side here, you'll notice I have two hooks for my VR controllers. And here's the bottom of the desk, just need to flip it over. But I went with the white top, match the drawers. And if you notice, I already have this LED strip attached onto the bottom and the back of it. I ended up going with Better Homes and Gardens. They have really good LED strips. And here's the back for you guys. Comes with the controller, and then of course, the power adapter. And here's an Olav leg from Ikea as well. This costed me $15 and it's fully adjustable by turning it. it. Provides great stability. It just goes in with screws onto the bottom of the desk, which is right here. Super easy, but let's get drilling. Once that's all done, super stable, nothing's gonna move this thing. We'll tap test here. Time to flip it over and get everything set up. I really just love the look of the white Alex Shores with this white Linman top. The Linman top costed me, I believe it was $48. And here we are just adjusting everything. This isn't final, I'm just trying to get a size measurement. I need to leave some room on the sides just so my clamps for my mic and everything have a spot. But here it is. Already looking clean. Here's scotch double-sided tape. I'm just using this to secure the top to the Alex drawer so it doesn't slide around. If you don't come up with a solution for this, they are going to slide around. I did a test with my mouse and that top was sliding everywhere. So secure that. We're gonna go ahead and secure this side now and boop. All done, nice and secure. So I went with the Vivo triple monitor desk mount. Supports up to a 32 inch screen on all mounts. Let's cut this open. Of course we have our famous knife as always from our G Fuel unboxings. And let me just destroy the angle. So it came with two boxes, it's just all the things that we need. A little dented up top, no worries. Here's the guide. And honestly, this thing was not good. It was super confusing, but we had it. We need our knife again, so I'm just gonna reach in this drawer. But no, seriously, again, th that guide was so confusing. I literally sat on the ground for probably like an hour and a half trying to assemble this thing. <laughs> Meu 
And this thing came with so much stuff. There were so many little pieces and intricate things. Again, the manual did not help at all. Here I am, after finally figuring all this out for like 45 minutes straight. Time to get the backs on the monitors. And we got that peel test for you guys. Oof. God, I love peeling stuff, man. Looks good. I'm mounted. So this is something I got at Home Depot. It was only $3. This is just to secure the clamp from the bottom of the arms onto the bottom of the desk just because the bottom of the Linman tabletops from Ikea is a little bit softer material and I have a lot of weight going onto it so I just don't want to punch holes through the bottom of my desk. This is what it looks like with it on there, nice and secure. Had room for the LED strip on the bottom and on the back of it so it wasn't interfering with it at all. Got super lucky with that. And here it is all set up. This thing is huge. Like I said, 32 inch monitor, maximum size, 22 pounds. It's a beauty. And here's what it looks like all set up. And they're not spaced evenly yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do this later in the video here. But I just wanted to see what it would look like on the arm and it is beautiful. Everything was super easy to set up. It was super easy to adjust, just a flawless experience. So now we're gonna go ahead and put some more LED strips on the back of the monitors to get some more lighting. But first, I just have to give a quick shout out to G Fuel. I could not have done this tiring, tiring project without you guys. I was drinking some Dub Melon Mint. It kept me hydrated and cool during this whole thing. It kept me energized. You guys can use code MYTH for 10% off right now if you guys want to pick some up at gfuel.com. Anyways, back to the video here. It took me a little bit to get all these strips done just because I have super short nails and the adhesive is a little bit of a pain in the ass to get off the back of these, but it does not come undone. That's why I've been trusting this Better Homes and Garden brand LED strip for all of my stuff with this new desk. It's all done. We're just getting the power adapter set up, which I'm going to go ahead and plug in right in the middle here. And it's going to go into one of the USB ports on my main monitor, which is a Dell monitor. It has two USB 3.0 ports on there, which is just fantastic. This helps so much in this circumstance. And now we're starting off with the cable management, which goes right into the top of the Vivo monitor stand and comes right out the bottom back side of it to hide everything away. It just made it super convenient with this overall process. Everything went in there smoothly. Just finished plugging in all the wires. You can't see anything. <laughs> I am blown away, but they're all coming down the back of it, like I said, where my computer is going to sit on the bottom. And if you see in the back, I have my streaming PC that stays on the desk because it is way too beautiful. Shout out to Digital Storm again for sending me over that. It is amazing. Got the cable management done for the most part. I have to mess around with some things in the future, but I just wanted to get everything done with. Mess around with these wires in the back here. Clean it up a little bit, but so far, everything's looking so good. So now I have these hyper tough eight inch cable ties. We're gonna clean up the wires a little bit here. Get some things strapped to the monitor pole here. Don't worry, I'll be cutting off those tails on the cable ties later. Next, we're gonna take this industrial strength Velcro. Can hold up to 10 pounds. I got these at Walmart for $3. And we're gonna attach it to the top of my Cloud Lifter CL1 and my Scarlet Solo and mount those to the bottom of my desk to keep them off my desk and give us a cleaner top space. We're attaching it now and these things held so nicely. I'm staring at them right now while I'm recording it and they haven't moved in the slightest. Next is our LED strips in the back and bottom of the desk. Get those all set up and they're looking beautiful. I know they look a little bit weird on the camera, but trust the process. You guys will see at the end. And these were about $15 at Walmart a piece, which came with 6.5 feet of length, the controller as well as the power adapter. Now it's time to sort through all this stuff and get rid of the garbage. <laughs> Add a little bit of a mess. Once we have that all put together on the desk, everything's looking so good so far. And guys, this is what it looks like with the lights off. Get ready for the grand reveal because damn, look at this setup. 
It's looking so clean with the colors matching the monitors and everything. The lighting came out super bright. I am just blown away with how nicely this came out. I finally have my dream set up. I've been waiting so long to finally send it and go through with everything I've always wanted to do. And I'm so impressed. And honestly, I'm so proud of myself for this whole project. This took so much time and effort. And of course, funds. It's not cheap. I'm not going to tell you in the slightest that this is cheap. But it's so worth it. This is what I do full time and this is what I love. So this is just an investment. And I can't wait to continue doing more and upgrading more and more in the future. And there you have it guys, that's the new setup. I wanna take a moment again just to give a huge shout out to my community, you guys are amazing. All my sponsors, G Fuel, Digital Storm, Steel Series. You guys are amazing, I could not have done this without you guys. I'm very thankful to be in the position that I'm in and just at the end of the day, it was finally time to upgrade and we have a dream setup now. This is, this is everything I've wanted and more. So thank you guys so much. And if you liked the video, drop us up guys. We're gonna have so much more YouTube content coming in the future. Other than that, stay awesome. Thank you guys for watching.